Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo Valau. I'm the Forage Extension Specialist for the University of Florida. And here we are at the 2020 Corn Silage Hybrid Trial. Thanks everybody for joining us today and thanks especially for our partners. Uh, we have a splendid experiment this year in the midst of this uh, COVID-19 problem. We're still able to keep, uh, to keep the trial going on and we have a very beautiful, beautiful experiment. We have 48 hybrids and 13 companies participating this year. To start with, this field day is part of this virtual tour is part of the corn silage field day series uh, that happens one year in Georgia, one year in Florida. And this would be our Florida year, but unfortunately we cannot gather in person, so we're going to do it virtual. Uh, thank you for two, two people that make this happen out every year, Dr. John Bernard at UGA and Dr. Jose Eduardo Santos as you, at UF that normally coordinate this event. We have a new addition to our team, and I'm glad to introduce you uh, this year to Dr. DeWalker Vias. And I'll leave to you to say a few words. Thank you very much, Marcelo. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, as Marcelo mentioned, I'm uh, DeWalker Vias. I'm an assistant professor of uh, ruminant nutrition in the uh, Department of Animal Sciences at the University of Florida. Uh, this is my first time uh, to be the part of a uh, field day and I'm really looking forward to that because uh, our research program in animal sciences, although it's focused more on dairy production, but forage is a huge component of it. And hybrid trials helps to select the, uh, the forage varieties that works great uh, with our dairy production. So again, thank you very much, Marcelo, to, uh, to, I mean, uh, to involve me in this uh, field day and uh, looking forward to this whole experience. Great, thank you for your participation. We're super glad to have you in our team. And uh, there is always opportunity for a new research and I'm excited to work with you in some future projects, probably some, some silent, and, and silent trials and all that. Going on with our introductions, uh, I would like to introduce uh, Buck Nelson. He's our research coordinator, uh, the Plant Science uh, Research and Education Unit here in Citra, Florida. And him and his crew have done a great, great job maintaining this trial during this shutdown. So we were basically at home and Buck was here and able to keep with a very limited staff and very limited time keeping uh, this trial going on. So Buck, can you say a few words about the trial? Sure, Marcelo. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, like Marcelo said, my name is Buck Nelson. I'm a research coordinator here at the Plant Science Research and Education Unit in Citra, Florida. Uh, we are an 1100 acre facility and uh, <clears throat> this is our spring 2020 corn silage hybrid trial. Uh, as Marcelo stated, uh, we were in a uh, COVID-19 shutdown. Uh, the trial was planted uh, March 12th as, as scheduled. Uh, the university shut us down March 23rd at noontime. Uh, prior to the shutdown, we were all became, all our staff became essential employees. Uh, we were allowed to work uh, Monday through Friday, uh, just for three hours at a, a day, uh, in order to take care of the crops that were planted prior to the shutdown. Uh, this corn silage hybrid trial, <clears throat> like I said, was planted March 12th. So at March 23rd, it was it was just coming up and uh, growing. A uh, little bit of maintenance on this particular trial. Uh, when it was planted, uh, we planted uh, with used a starter fertilizer, pop-up fertilizer, LEV 370, along with an insecticide inferno of bifenthrin. Uh, we did three different uh, fertilizer applications at uh, different stages. I believe uh, it was like a 6 to 8 inch, uh, 12 to 14 inch, and about 18 inch applications uh, of our side dress application. Uh, we also did an overhead application through the pivot with uh, liquid nitrogen. So that gave us a total of about 270 pounds of nitrogen per acre from the trial and about 220 pounds of potassium. Our phosphorus came from the starter fertilizer, so that was about 53 units uh, per acre for this this trial here as well. Uh, we also did a couple applications of the fungicide and insecticide. At 12 inch stage of this corn we used a product called he Headline as our fungicide along with an insecticide of uh, Belt. Uh, we also used a fungicide Headline Amp at Tassel and uh, another insecticide Besiege for the insect control. They're both systemic insecticides and they seem to have done pretty well as far as controlling any type of worms that may have uh, uh, tried to attack the plants. Uh, just regular maintenance as far as tillage we're able to maintain and so that's kind of the basics. Irrigation, 
Uh, irrigation was done remotely uh, as my team members were checking on the field and doing maintenance and stuff like that. Our, our pivot irrigation systems, I can irrigate in the evenings uh, from a remote system and put on the amount of water needed to get through the, through the period. Um, uh, that's about it as far as basic irrigation, Marcelo. Um, I'm just glad that uh, everything's turned out really well and hopefully your yield and everything will turn out as well. Because of the great crew and the great uh, resources we have here, we're able to keep this trial going in very, very good. So we're very excited to show you our trial this year. Unfortunately, we cannot do it in person, but I think you'll be able to get a good sense of this in this virtual tour. So uh, welcome to this uh, year's virtual tour. Thanks for joining us. And now we're going to leave, with, leave you with our partners and we're going to have a question and answer session at the end of their presentation. So thank you everybody for joining us and I hope you to see next year in Georgia. I'm Winfield United Technical City Agronomist Robert Coster and I appreciate the opportunity to participate in the virtual field day. You know, Winfield United is a division of Atlanta Lakes. We were founded in 1921 by dairy farmers and we are still a farmer and cooperative member owned today. We are committed to providing leading genetics and agronomic expertise to help you provide to achieve the highest ROI on the acre. The Cropland Brands itself is one of the top five in the industry. Uh, we're backed by a team of seed agronomists throughout the country, as well as uh, forage and alfalfa agronomists to provide additional agronomic support. AgriFC is an integral part of the Winfield United system. We designate some of our hybrids with an S for silage first, but we test every hybrid in internal and external replicated trials each year, looking at how to manage a hybrid agronomically, tonnage, and uh, feed quality. Those hybrids, hybrids that consistently perform the high quality, high tonnage, quadrant are marked with a data proven logo. This makes it the easiest spot when looking through the seed guide and other material. Visit winfoodunited.com for more information and glad you chose to participate today. S5700 VT2 Pro. Excellent dual purpose hybrid, very tall plant, robust stalk, wide leaves, nice girthy flex ear allows for medium populations, but also drives high starch content. It does have a high response to nitrogen, so we need to be able to either split apply our nitrogen or keep it on our fertile soils. Consistent data proven hybrid that delivers high tonnage and high food feed quality. S5900 VT2 Pro, 119 day data proven hybrid tall plant with dark upright leaf structure. This hybrid is all about yield, but does have good digestibility. It has a moderate response to population and moderate response to fungicide, but does it have a high response to nitrogen. So we need to keep it on some fertile ground. We'll handle most soil types, but I, again, ideally suited for our higher yield environments. Hello, my name is Corey Choco, the Corn Product Manager for Local Seed Company. Local Seed Company, founded in 2017, is a proudly independent company built on the motto of broad access with a local focus. So we have the opportunity to produce and distribute a wide variety of agronomic crops including corn, silage and grain, soybeans, rice, alfalfa, wheat, various other small seeds and cover crop products. Please contact uh, University of Florida or University of Georgia Extension agent to figure out who is the closest uh, sales rep to your area, as well as visit our website at localseed.com. There are five hybrids we have entered into this trial today. I'll spend a few seconds talking about each one of them in particular. Like as I said, feel free to reach out to any of the local contacts to find out more information about if this is a good fit for your operation. The first product I'd like to talk about is LCX 15-20. It is a VT Double Pro 115 day. It is a really tall, robust plant with full flex ears and a nice top end yield potential. It's kind of a, a go anywhere, plant anywhere 115 day product. 
The next one here in the lineup is LC1688. This is available as a smart stacks or conventional um, at 116 day. Really one of our lead silage first products. Very consistent across a lot of geographies. This is planted from Florida the whole way north into Pennsylvania. Anywhere where a 115 day product is key, this should be in your silage rotation. Very attractive plant, nice dense canopy. Next one uh, at 118 day, this is LC1898, the Tricepta, so we have really enhanced earworm and above ground insect control. Very high yield potential. Excellent northern corn leaf blight disease is really a standout on this guy, aided by strong stalks and roots. Um, good text good test weight on a semi-flex ear allows for some variable field conditions and this product can yield through that variability quite well. The next product we have here is LCX 17-21, 117 day double pro, really designed for the deep south only. Good fit for where we're at today. Good overall strong southern disease package. Um, with good strong standability and excellent grain quality. It's really a nice dual purpose 117 day option. Again, brand new product this year. We have entered in this trials is LCX 17-22. This is a new moderately tall uh, 118 with semi-flex ear. So also in the VT double pro package for above ground ear protection. Wide body appearance make this a really good dual purpose adapted plant. Um, Phenomenal southern corn leaf blight scores and overall fair disease tolerance. All five of these options are phenomenal for the silage or dual purpose market. Please contact any local seed representative to learn more about these products and the rest of our broad access local focus lineup. Localseed.com, thank you for taking the time to visit with us today. Hello, my name is Joe Napier. I'm director of seeds and traits for a seed distribution company called Seacoast out of Alpharetta, Georgia. We represent uh, two ag uh, retail organizations here in Georgia and Florida, uh, Triangle Chemical Company and Meharian Ag and Chemical Company. And I'm standing in the uh, official variety test for silage entries here at the University of Georgia site in Tifton, Georgia. And uh, we just want to talk with you a little bit about two brands that we have exclusive distribution rights for in Georgia and Florida, that being the Phoenix brand as well as the Moorcorn brand. We've got three Phoenix hybrids entered into the silage trials at uh, University of Georgia and University of Florida this year. Those are the 6507 A3, which is a 115 day hybrid, it's a 3000 GT hybrid. Uh, highly suitable for silage, um, excellent standability, good grain quality, and uh, really excited about the opportunity to see it perform here at the uh, University of Georgia as well as the Florida site. We've also got another entry in Phoenix called 6542A4. Uh, this particular hybrid is a uh, 3111 trait package which includes the Viptera trait for uh, above ground feeding, particularly ear, earworm. 
uh, also an excellent silage choice uh, in this 116-day uh, maturity. And then we also have Phoenix uh, 7402, which is a 118-day hybrid, one that we've got a lot of experience with, particularly on uh, irrigation here in southwest Georgia. It's done an outstanding job for us. It's been on the market probably three or four years now. It's an excellent choice for uh, grain or silage, but uh, have had uh, excellent results out of it in that 118-day maturity. We also uh, have four entries in the Moorcorn brand, which we also market exclusively uh, through Triangle and Meharan. And uh, we've got four entries of uh, the Moorcorn. The first one is a 112-day hybrid in Moorcorn 4255. It's a VT Double Pro hybrid. We've uh, had it on the market now for two years. It seems to be a very consistent yielder in that 112-day maturity. Another hybrid is More Corn 4319. This is a 113 day VT Double Pro hybrid that uh, has done phenomenally well in that 113 day maturity class. We've got a lot of experience with it across a lot of different soil types um, and it's done uh, very well for us in a uh, irrigated high management situation in that 113 day maturity. We also have a, a new one, it's called uh, More Corn 4670. This is a 116 day hybrid and uh, it's new. It uh, comes with a Tricepta trait package which includes the Viptera VT gene that is uh, highly uh, regarded for corn earworm control and uh, excited to have it in the trial and uh, gonna be interested to see how it does uh, in both silage as well as grain. And then the last entry in the more corn is a 117 day hybrid, 4725. Uh, this hybrid uh, has a phenomenal yield potential. As a matter of fact, uh, two years ago, it was the top hybrid here at Tifton in the irrigated trial, uh, 294 bushels per acre grain yield. It's also highly suitable in a dual purpose uh, situation for silage. Uh, certainly do appreciate the opportunity to be with you today. If at any time you have any questions or would like to talk uh, about the folks at Triangle or Meharan further about these uh, uh, two brands and these uh, hybrids in particular, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much. I am Robert Berger of the University of Florida Silage and Sweet Corn Breeding Program based at the Everglades. Uh, research and Education Center in Bell Glade. Um, I am in my field in Bell Glade in front of our selection of a, a several of our non-GMO, non-BT, naturally insect resistant uh, silage corns, uh, of which two UFR 299 and UFR 197 are planted in the, the silage trial at Citra. Uh, these lines offer a natural way to control leaf feeding insects and ear feeding insects like fall armyworm and some corn earworm and others. They also um, provide good disease resistance as you can see here. Uh, Bell Glade, these are almost ready to be harvested and uh, you can see we put no fungicides on them and still have fairly green good looking crop. Uh, we envision these planting, these, these corns to be used uh, in either in an organic production system or uh, possibly for a refugee planting uh, with a traditional BT or GMO type variety of corn. And they can, the, both these hybrids can be used, these hybrids could be used for both grain and silage production. So, uh, thank you.
Hello, my name is Kevin Phillips. I'm the field agronomist for Cortev AgriScience and Pioneer Seeds in the South. Uh, Pioneer Seed has had a strong tradition of, uh, of dairy support and silage products in the South. And uh, we certainly as Corteva continue to move forward with uh, strong silage products uh, as we move uh, forward. Here in Citra, as uh, we can see, uh, we have a uh, 1903 on display. 1903 is a very tall product. It's a late maturing product. Uh, 1903 is really a strong digestibility package. It's uh, really high fiber digestibility and uh, really has a uh, good scores for a uh, very low of a percentage of undigestible fiber. 1847 is a strong uh, silage product for us. Um, it's a very big flex here. It has very good starch components in combination with good digestibility traits. 1847 will be a leading product for later planted. It has a strong BT package uh, with the VYHR as well. Hello everybody and welcome. My name is David Grabo. I'm with Agritech Corn Seed. With those not familiar, Agritech is a family owned company run by my dad and I for over 20 years. The first hybrid I'm gonna talk about is Agritech 1024 VIP. This hybrid is a full season corn with old genetics dating back to some old coker genetics. This hybrid has been improved by us through the years, working with different females and has been a staple in our program for over 20 years. High tonnage, high forage, probably only 40% grain. So you're gonna get most of your weight in forage there. The 908 VIP is an excellent disease resistance hybrid that also does excellent planted later in the season and excellent for second crop due to its disease resistance and rust resistance. This hybrid performs excellent under tough conditions and under ideal conditions can push tonnage up as high as anything we've got. It's, uh, it's been a great variety planted both dry land and irrigated in the Southeast. 88 VT2 Pro is a new hybrid that is gonna be developed next year on pilot production so we've looked at it through research for two years and where the highest stress plots we've had, 88 has stuck out probably more than anything on heat resistance. Last May, indicative of high, high heat, it stood out more than any of our hybrids or anything we were testing against in plots. 85 VT2 Pro is a hybrid that's dual purpose where you're gonna get its weight in grain primarily. Probably over 55, close to 60% of the weight will come in grain. High starch content, high starch digestibility, excellent feed value, and a hybrid that works both as a grain hybrid and as a silage hybrid equally well, both outstanding. I appreciate all your time and thank you all for your business. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Hey, I am Nick Shimon, the agronomist uh, with the Cab Corn for Georgia and Florida. Talk to you briefly today about our silage products um, that we have entered in the uh, Citra silage trial. Um, I'm here today in a field of 6869. That's the backdrop that you're going to see. But I'm going to talk about five different products. So to start us off, I'm going to talk about DKC 7064. This is a SmartStacks uh, traded product. It's a silage only product. It's our uh, highest yielder, best disease package, sp specifically bred for the silage market. It's gonna be the taller of the DeCab hybrids. The rest of them are gonna be a little bit shorter than um, 7064. I'll move over to 6444. This is a new product that we're testing for silage. Again, bred for silage only. Very similar to 60, uh, 7064, but with a little bit shorter maturity. 7064 is 120 day. 6444 is gonna be a 114 day product. I'll transition to 6916. This is probably our best dual purpose product. Um, we have it priced for the silage market, but it is also an excellent grain product. It's gonna be a little bit shorter plant, but a very robust plant. Excellent grain quality if you take it to grain. 
um, but also excellent quality in the in the silage um, side as well. Uh, again, dual purpose product, grain or silage, excellent fit. If you uh, have some of those acres that you want to plant, you're not sure if it's going to go to silage, you have to take it to grain, very good fit. It's also a Smart Stacks product. Next is 6869, also an excellent dual purpose product. Bred primarily for the grain market. Um, we find that it has excellent quality in silage and very, very comparable yield to our 7064. Um, again, price for the grain market, so it is more expensive than our other silage products, but an excellent product, uh, especially when you wanna focus on quality. Last, we have 6999. Uh, this is a Tricepta product, which brings the extra VIP trait um, to the table. It's also a new product for us, so we're testing it this year. It was bred to be a grain product, but we're putting it in the silage test to uh, see how it does because it is a very large plant, big leaf, um, big stalk, very robust plant type that we think may have a fit in the silage market. Thanks for your time today, and uh, enjoy the rest of the tour. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark Mattingly. I work as a product development agronomist for Syngenta Seeds NK brand. First, I want to thank the University of Florida for inviting us to, to participate in this virtual tour this morning. Uh, first off, our objective at Syngenta Seeds NK brand is very straightforward. Uh, we want to provide the best genetics that have been thoroughly tested in your environment for multiple years before commercialized and then supported by industry leading traits. Uh, one trait I wanna mention in, part in particular that I think is very important for the folks uh, on, this on this tour in your marketplace, that is the AgriSure Viptera trait. This trait gives superior protection in the industry to the Lepidoptera family of insects, which uh, primary amongst those are the fall army worm, corn ear worm, uh, European corn, corn borer included in that group as well. So uh, uh, proven genetics, tested genetics, supported with uh, uh, superior industry-leading traits. The first hybrid is NK1677. It's a 116 relative maturity hybrid. This is a management hybrid. It wants to go after top-end yield. It's got very good agronomics. Uh, it's got good stress tolerance, but wants to be kept in irrigated environments in this in this part of the country. Excellent grain quality and test weight characteristics of this hybrid. Uh, soil types under irrigation, we can put it across the board. Uh, plant populations, we want to keep this one from 34, and if you go as high as 38, this hybrid will handle that. The next hybrid uh, is another new hybrid, uh, NK1748. It's a 117 that includes a Agasure Viptera trait as well for insect protection. Uh, this is a very versatile hybrid. Uh, it does an excellent job in irrigation system, irrigated systems, has top end yield potential, but it has very good uh, stress tolerance as well. Uh, this one has uh, excellent, again, excellent grain quality and test weight characteristics, which are a nice improvement. Agronomics are solid on it, cross the board on soil types. The last hybrid of the three I want to mention is NK1573. Also has a Viptera, Agastria Viptera trait. We, we like to keep this one into irrigated environments in southern Georgia and Florida. Uh, puts in a really nice strong ear, good ear consistency. Agronomics are solid on this one. Um, uh, we do like to see this one under good management. It's not one to put out on your tough, tough, tough acres. Uh, plant populations of 34 to 38,000 plants per acre. So that was a very quick run through three hybrids from Syngenta Seeds NK brand, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Thanks, everyone. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us to take a look at some of the corn silage hybrids offered by Seedway for the Southern Market. Also, thank you to the University of Florida Agronomy Department for making this virtual field day possible. My name is Kara Riccioni, and I am the Forage and Grain Nutrition Specialist, and alongside our Southern Corn and Soybean Manager, work to place the best silage hybrids in specific markets based on both feed quality and agronomic performance. Headquartered in Hall, New York, with operational facilities throughout our territory, Seedway is a full-line seed company that provides high-quality, high-performing farm seed and forage products to growers in the eastern market alongside a full line of lawn and turf products and wildlife genetics. 
Additionally, Seedway is home to a leading line of vegetable seed for growers that spans a territory across the U.S. from the Rocky Mountains to the eastern seaboard and internationally north into Canada and south along the west coast into Mexico. The first hybrid is Seedway 7560 Genuity VT2 Pro. It is a 115-day hybrid that is widely adapted to varying geographies from Pennsylvania to Florida. It has steady performance across varying stress levels and soil conditions and shows above average performance on rotated acres. Additionally, it carries the anthracnose stock rot resistance gene and has desirable disease ratings with a high response to fungicide applications. It has a semi-flex ear with a high and stable silage yield potential that when combined with the health of the plant produces a high quality silage feed. Next up is Seedway 8109 Viptera 3111 a 117-day good-yielding hybrid with 16 to 18 deep kernels per row that makes for a high grain content, high energy feed silage. It is suited for high residue corn after corn production with fully supporting plant health, insect traits, and late season stay green. The AgriShare Viptera 3111 trait combines the AgriShare 3000 GT and the AgriShare Viptera trait stacks to control for 16 above and below ground quality robbing insects, making for a healthy plant and high quality forage. New to our portfolio is Seedway 8100 Genuity Smart Stack. It is a 117-day hybrid that shows stable silage yield potential and quality across many environments, including the South. It has a good plant size for its maturity, but is not excessive in height with a uniform ear development, consistent husk cover, and good late-season plant health. The Smart Stack technology makes it a good option for corn after corn as it uses multiple modes of action to protect the plant from the broadest spectrum of above and below ground insects. Please feel free to reach out or visit our website or social media accounts with any questions and to stay up to date on our product offerings.